Mouse Trouble News fans, the U.S. Federal Reserve has announced that they are going to conduct a third round of quantitative easing, which, to those who, who don't know, basically means they're going to print more money. The Federal Reserve announced they're going to spend $40 billion a month on bond purchases. Now, with this, uh, the uh, Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke spoke about it. If the outlook for the labor market does not improve substantially, the committee will continue its purchases of agency mortgage-backed securities, undertake additional asset purchases, and employ its other policy tools as appropriate until such improvement is achieved in a context of price stability. Which actually doesn't mean very much, considering that this has already been done twice before. In fact, uh, it's already failed twice before. Now, this is not just my opinion. The major financial institutions in the U.S. also agree that this has failed twice before. Now, uh, the, a lot of economists did predict, uh, going back so far as a year ago, that the Federal Reserve would actually have another round of quantitative easing. In fact, I remember speaking with a friend online about it, and he said, yeah, they're probably going to do it again, and it's going to be, it's not going to work. It's already been done twice, so it's not going to work a third time. And pretty much everybody agrees. There's pretty much almost no one on the economic scale, regardless of which side, that, that really thinks that this is going to be able to do anything. Um, the whole problem here is that fictitious capital has been revealed to be fictitious. When you create securities, uh, derivatives, all that stuff where no value is actually being generated. And then it's just all based on nothing concrete to back it up because it's all fictitious and that's largely what the 2008 global collapse of capitalism really was just fictitious capital it's been proven to be fictitious which is why it's not fixing anything and why it's caused this problem to begin with the other thing is, is that constant capital is being devalued and that's going to have a, a whole effect on the whole situation as well and that's also something that they're not acknowledging, which means they're not going to be able to deal with it if they just don't pay attention. Now, there's no, there's no new investments. Okay, Marx said that value comes from commodity production and that that's where all value inherently stems from. Now, no investment in any manufacturing here here, by here, I mean the first world nations, the United States, Canada, what have you, is really being done. And any new money that's given out to private enterprise to begin production and you know create jobs is going to get manufacturing is going to be done overseas. And for the perfectly, completely rational economic reason of that it being cheaper. And they're just going to keep doing that, which means no jobs are being created here. We have to purchase in order for the capitalist system to exist. And it's, it, that's not unique to capitalism. That's pretty much every economic system. You have to consume. But if no jobs are created here where people are paid and then spend that money on buying things, nothing's being created. We, we can't, if we can't build up an economy if we're not buying anything, and we can't buy anything if we don't have jobs, or at the very least, jobs that pay us enough money to be able to buy things. So what's happened as as the Western world has been deindustrialized and reduced to um, service jobs that don't create anything and that are mostly, well, minimum wage and often part-time jobs, consumption has gone down with it. And we're left in that kind of a situation where we can't consume because we can't afford to because we don't have enough money. That being one of the contradictions Marx pointed out. The point of a capitalist is to keep as much of the profit for himself as possible. But he can't do that because workers have to spend money in order for the system to exist. So you have this massive antagonism there, this massive contradiction. Pay workers as little as possible, but they have to make enough in order to consume for the, for the system to continue. And the real insanity here is that no one believes this quantitative easing is going to work. It's not. It's not going to do anything. Not even, not even the people up in the Austrian school, not anybody on the left. Nobody thinks this is going to work. Nobody. But they're still doing it. 
what this shows really is that the Federal Reserve, the economic elite who are running things, don't know what to do. They keep doing the same thing over and over because they can't think of anything else. And that's uh, that can be a very scary prospect for someone who has any kind of uh, economic interest in the United States. And I don't just mean people who have money invested. I mean the everyday regular person that has to live.